This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Bennett, and this is the Ramble. The Ramble goes from now until midnight Eastern Daylight Time. So we hope you're going to enjoy it and stick around for our fine show. In about a half hour from now, we go to our world famous Citizen Pen. Well, it's not world famous. I'll explain world famous a little bit later. But right now, we have a very special guest that we've been wanting to have on for the longest time, and I've known for the longest time. And here he is now. So when I asked this gentleman, is he ready, you said... I've been preparing for this my whole life. Yeah, he's been preparing. As a a young boy growing up in Greenfield, Massachusetts, I said, I just have to work so that by 2017, (laughs) I can talk to Alex Bennett on Skype. Yeah, that's exactly it. We never thought we would ever... Back then, we didn't know we'd be doing something like this, right? When we first met? Actually, no, I thought I'd be living on the moon with a monolith and a you know flying car and a family and a dog. Yeah, but that's that's not the case. We're a little no. we're a little out of sync today, but I find that Skype does that. I have no reason why that happens. It's the gods of Skype, but you look fine and you look good. This is ladies and gentlemen, do I have to people know what you look like. They, you you're one of the most recognizable people in America. Well, there you go. There you go. So should I say Penn Jillette? Sure, you can say Penn Jillette. Yeah. I'm not first to my name. Yeah. What is that uh, big poster in back of you? Uh, Bob Dylan, Ronaldo, and Clara. Mm-hmm. That's what that is. It's a French poster for Ronaldo and Clara. It's gigantic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of lot of Bob Dylan in my office here. Wasn't, wasn't that the movie that he actually directed? Yeah, it's like four hours long, and eight different people play Bob Dylan, and it's very odd. Yes. He goes to Stations of the Cross with Allen Ginsberg, and just the kind of stuff I like. Yeah. So, Pretentious and obtuse. So how many years is this now with uh, with Teller? It's got uh, 40, 43, I guess. Yeah, yeah. 43, and that's 43 continuous. Wow. You know, you can you can try to say uh, Keith Richards and Mick Jagger go longer, but they take three, four, five years off. You know, <laughs> even when they're together, they take the time off. You can say, you know, you can try to say other teams, but continuous. You know, no more than um, two weeks working apart. I think. I think it was one time Teller went to Italy for two weeks for vacation, but other than that, it's been forty-three years solid, constant. Wow! Wow! And like being waterboarded for 43 years. Has uh, during during that time, and I want to just tell the audience if he looks a little out of sync, that's because he is. Um, we've been having problems lately with uh, long distance calls for some reason on Skype being out of sync. So just cover your mouth whenever you talk, and then they won't know it's out of sync. Anyway, in in all that time, have you ever the two of you? gotten into a situation where you said, that's it, I don't want to work with you any longer? We have a disagreement on the memory of this. I think maybe in 1976 or 77, that is to say one year, two years in, uh, I think there was a Dudley Riggs Brave New Workshop in Minnesota yeah. I think one of us may have said that's it for five seconds. But other than that, there hasn't even been a hollow threat. Wow. Wow. Okay. Because I, I'd heard that at one point you you, you you had a big disagreement. I think when you were doing the Penn, Penn & Teller movie, what was that movie called? Penn & Teller? Get Killed. Get Get killed. killed. That, uh, that you did have a massive argument, but somehow the director, Arthur Penn, uh, it kind of oh, got the I, two of you together and said, stop it. I never said we didn't have arguments. Yeah. Question yeah. was, did you ever say, you know, we're thinking about calling this quits. Those are very, two very, very different things, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. And our disagreements are um, almost always artistic and not personal. 
Yeah. And that's, that's a very important distinction. I mean, Lennon and McCartney, uh, Gilbert and Sullivan, Martin and Lewis, they were in love. You know, they were people that it was an emotional bond. Taylor and I, our relationship with one another personally is very, very cool. It's, um, it's very uh, like two guys running a 7-Eleven together. It's very businesslike. And then artistically is where we try to keep all the energy and all the spark. And the truth is we actually enjoy rather aggressive arguments about art. But that would lead to splitting up, if you know what I mean. Some, somebody once asked me, like with the people I work with, like I had a, you know, a newswoman, Lori Thompson, you remember Lori, and, and they would say, do you ever get together when you're not on the show? And I said, hardly ever, because we see each other every day. So and, the and, question is, what did you do today? Same thing you did. That's what I did. Same as you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's not much to talk about. Yeah, uh, but you know, I got to tell you, I was uh, I, I every week I watch your TV show. Well, thank you. Because I think that finally you found the one vehicle that's perfect for you guys on television as a weekly well, thank show. You. Thank you. Yeah, we uh, we we really like doing it. You know, it's yeah. uh, it's funny after uh, being thrown out of the Magic Castle and the Magic Circle and uh, building our career. Are being hated uh, by magicians. We are now the uh, the uh, you know the the old time magicians who are, are bringing on younger magicians. I kind of <laughs> love that. It's kind of the way the world is supposed to go. Are you now accepted by those groups like the Magic Castle and so on? Hundred percent. Yeah. 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 But that's not true. The Magic Circle still won't let us in. We're the Magic Castle. With the Americans, we're fine. The Brits still haven't come around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, and you don't mind that, do you? I mean, you no. kind of lived for that in a way. Oh, sure. It's, it's, it's this really weird thing. The Magic Circle is uh, this exclusive magic club in London. And uh, they are real sticklers about secrets. So although they have honored us, and they have honored us, and although they have a museum, which they have artifacts from Penn and Teller in, and although we are welcome there, and they all ask for our autographs, we are not the members. Because sometime in the past, we away a secret, the cabal kind of stated we would never be members, <laughs> and they're so embarrassed. Every time uh, I say we're not allowed in the magic circle, the president writes to me and says, no, don't, don't say you're not allowed, it really embarrasses us. And I go, but we're not. He goes, I know you're not, but we love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, uh, but the magic castle now welcomes you with open oh, arms, yeah. right? Absolutely. Yeah. In fact, I was watching this week's show, and the daughter or the granddaughter of the person Liberty. who created the Magic Castle is now a magician. Liberty Larson, and she's wonderful. And if she weren't, it would be it would it would be a crime, because uh, not only she, but her mother and her grandmother spent their whole lives in magic. So it's wonderful to see to see Liberty doing that. Well, when I grew up and I was a kid, and that was a long time ago, a lot longer than when you were a kid, uh, I used to love magic, and my parents would take me to magic shows. So I saw them all. I saw uh, Harry Blackstone was my favorite at the time, but sure. I saw Thurston and uh, several others during that period of time, and I loved magic. And then when you guys finally came along, I guess I had kind of grown out of magic. And I went, you, you invited me to come see your show, and I had never seen him. And I went and saw it, and I said, these guys have reinvented magic. You know, this is not your, your grandfather's magic show. And, and you've been doing that for the last 44 years and pretty well maintaining that edge. You know, uh, I think if you try to reinvent yourself and you try to reinvent anything, and you try to uh, be edgy, I think you just fail, or eventually you fail. You know, we've always been trying to do stuff that, that we like. 
And, uh, and we, uh, we are, I think, really unusual in that if you talk to, if you were able to talk to Houdini or Paul McCartney mm -hmm. or Elvis mm -hmm. yeah. and, or Madonna, and ask them, you know, how famous are you? They would say, not really as famous as we should have been. We didn't really, the audience didn't really accept us. We should have been more famous. That's the kind of ambition you have. Taylor and I uh, are more famous than we should be. You know, we expected to be playing for two or 300 people and we're off by like an order of magnitude. It's two or 3,000 and we're still kind of amazed at it. So uh, we just do stuff that we think is good. The one change is over the past uh, five or six years, uh, our writing has changed in that um, we only like to do hard stuff now. You know, one of us will come and say, I got this idea boom, boom just like that. We can do this easy, it'd be really funny. The audience will love it. And the other one goes, Nah, nah. And then someone comes and goes, I get this idea. I don't think it'll work. I'm not sure we can do it. And I don't know if anybody will like it. The other one goes, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know, we have enough material now. You know, we've got six to seven hours of live material. We have enough material uh, to last us well beyond when we're dead. We don't have any economic pressure to change material, nothing. So we're really just doing our career as a hobby now. So we change the show all the time. We're always writing new stuff. We're more prolific now than we were when we were 25. And uh, we're, having a, we're having a blast. What, what we're you, doing what really hard stuff. What, what you're saying is that fame, success, and so on has given you an ability a lot of people don't take advantage of, and that is to try any shit you want to. Yeah, it's amazing to me the number of people that work so hard in show business essentially to get out of it. Um, they play golf all day. You know, they uh, spend as little time as possible on what they're doing. And I've never understood that. You know, if you told me at uh, when I was 16 years old, 17 years old, you'll have a chance to be working with um, the greatest mind in magic mm -hmm. uh, in a theater with your name on it with 1,500 people coming to see you every night, with a, to a 16-year-old, unlimited budget, and 15 people around you to work with you and make it happen, who are all talented and skilled, uh, I would have said, yes, I'll do that the rest of my life. And indeed, I am saying, yes, I'll do that the rest of my life. I intend to die in office. You won't see me uh, playing golf or saying, you know, enough of that magic thing. You know how, um, uh, Johnny Carson retired when he was at the top of his game. Right. And Sinatra, although I never say this to his face, went beyond when he was at the top. Oh, he, it was ter it was terrible what happened. Maybe he, failed a little bit. He went back. He went back when he shouldn't have gone back. I intend to do that. <laughs> I intend. I intend. When you see me, my last show, uh, I certainly hope I completely suck. And it's embarrassing because I do want to keep doing this. This is what I wanted to do. So, yeah, you know, I knew Johnny and Johnny, um, you know, decided to do that retirement thing. And I guess it was OK for him. But I much prefer the Sinatra. Keep going while you suck. Really? Because I have some recordings of Sinatra, like in Milan during the t last days of his life where he just couldn't even sing. And I love Sinatra so much. I can't listen to that shit. Well, <laughs> just keep going till you until you, you the people go this is the worst show i've ever seen in my life until no one shows up or you're dead those are your two choices that, my living will says when i'm in a coma put me on stage <laughs> well apparently apparently i'm doing the same thing in that uh now with this little thing with the internet where all broadcasters go when they no longer have a career uh <laughs> You know, uh, uh, I'm doing this every night, and I don't think I'm anywhere as good as I used to be. And uh, I think I suck, and I keep doing it. So I guess I'm lying when I say I won't keep doing it. It's what you do. It's what you do. It's why it's you know, it's all you know how to do. You know, when they uh, when they would have a trained pig act in the circus, you know, and they would the pigs would get too big, and they would take them out and, and put them at a farm. 
when the circus would come nearby and the pigs would hear the music, they would still do the act. <laughs> you know, in, one of the, in one of the, you know, in one of the really pitiful, uh, disgusting, horrible views of life. Uh, if you look at that cynically, that's horrible and sad and miserable and terrible. But to me, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh, I hope you keep going like the pigs. You know, I will. Uh, <laughs> it's. Uh, I mean, uh, you you guys have have managed to keep your skill set going and that's what's so amazing you know and i think it's because you love what you're doing yeah, yeah. it's just it's just what we do you know it's just uh you know uh when teller and i first got together teller was a high school latin teacher mm -hmm. and teller didn't like getting up early in the morning and scraping his car yeah. and i was homeless that's why he that's why he didn't do morning shows not, right. not not only because no he told me once he said number one i don't talk so therefore i don't have to do morning shows therefore i don't have to get up early yeah i remember i would go and do you know the alex bennett show in san francisco yeah and i would get up at 5 a.m yeah. and i would go in and do you know a full four hours with you yeah and i would have slept two hours and i would come into the hotel lobby this happened once or twice at you know 11 after we chatted a little bit after mm -hmm. i kind of stumble into the uh into the uh, hotel lobby and telling me coming down to get breakfast going uh no oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. you know, and they just walked by how'd it go yeah that was it yeah. but fine how's alex he's good he did he, he did breakfast. show up uh once with you to present me with that neon sign, which I now have in my in my kitchen here, I was yep. almost going to bring it in and put it behind me, but it's uh, it's it's getting a little old, and I didn't want to move it, you know. <laughs> but it was a sure. neon neon sign that uh, you said. Oh, my my partner Teller is in the other room. It was he was in the newsroom. He says he has something for you, and they had a big cloth over something. And he pulled it up, and there was a neon sign saying "Fuck you, Alex." Yeah. And I that's one of my most prized possessions. Yeah, well, don't move it. Keep it. It's nice. Yeah. No, it's really nice. And and it has a story behind it because we had this whole series of events where we tried to top each other at saying, fuck you. And I still have a picture yes. of an entire crowd all saying, fuck you, Ben, with their fingers up. That inside. was at the uh, Frost Amphitheater. Mm -hmm. at Stanford, and I had 9,000 people there for a show, and I said, I want to take a picture to give to Penn Jillette. Would everybody <laughs> give him the finger? And it's 9,000 people giving you the finger. So, And one of my prized possessions yeah. is right but, up there. But right the house. neon sign, I think, won it. I just, I <laughs> somehow, it has such a sentimental place in my heart. Uh, let me ask you this. You know, uh, magic is something that doesn't ever seem to really change. When I watch your show and I see these magicians coming on, uh, except for some people who are using technology a little bit in their act, you, it, magic is pretty much still the same form that it's always been. It's just it seems the people doing it are so much better. Yeah, well, uh, it, is, it is remarkable. Um, you're not going to be able to, you know, uh, 19th century magicians yeah. use technology. I mean, yeah. they invented movies. They used electromagnets. Yeah. They used the latest lens and mirror technology. But the problem now is that uh, we are very up on technology. So anything I find out about, the whole audience knows as well. Yeah. There's no bit of technology that sneaks in, with, with the exception of very small amounts of radio controlled stuff that some guys use, but it's a very small amount. But what magic is, is it's, um, I mean, uh, it's playful uh, epistemological study. It's how we determine how we get information. So it becomes, uh, you're trying to explore um, how we decide what's true. And that's a fascinating subject, but that subject is not really about technology. That subject is really about um, uh, art and how humans interact. Yeah. And the reason people have gotten so much better is the internet. It's also the reason that there are now women, uh, girls, I guess you could say, because they're all really, most of them under 18, because they've just started. Magic was 
a boys club. Mm -hmm. And people ask me, why was Magic a boys club? And I say, because they didn't let women in. <laughs> it wasn't, there's, there's no question you, about you, it. Do you think it's that, or do you think there is another slight factor involved in that there's a certain socialization that women go through as children that boys have a different socialization. We're asked to be, we, we're allowed to be goofy and look silly and and do magic, but a girl also, that's not dignified. It's also that magic has a lot in common with mansplaining. It's a lot <laughs> of here I have a quarter. I'm putting it in my hand. You know, you say obvious things that women just uh, socially. There's no genetic right. thing here. I know, but socially are less are less apt to less apt to do. But the nice thing is that uh, with the internet, um, you don't have to go to a creepy club with old guys who treat you badly to get the information. Right. The information is out there, and I love the fact that I mean this is brand new, brand new. Uh, five years ago, uh, we had one girl a year come up to us with a deck of cards and go, I'm doing magic, would you sign my deck? One a year. And now it's three a week that come up and do really? a card flourish and do this and that. Yeah, it's going to be just like comedy. You know how yeah. comedy got completely but, but owned I, by I, women five years ago. I guess the question I was going for here was, do you find that technically in, in card tricks and so on and in presentation and so on, that the magicians that are coming up today are better than the magicians ever were because the skill set has become more, uh, it's almost like, you know, you always have runners that are always faster than the runners before them. Uh, there's there's no there's no doubt about that. Did I just lose your sound? No, no. Oh, okay. There's no there's no doubt about that. Um, I was considered okay with a deck of cards. Uh, 30 years ago. My skill level hasn't gone down, and now I'm not even passable. I mean, when I pull out a deck of cards, uh, young guys don't even think I can shuffle without doing gimmicks. You know, they're doing all the cardistry stuff, all this stuff, and it is all because, I believe, it's because of the internet. It's because uh, they can watch something, <clears throat> see it on video, read about it, and then work on it forever. And the wonderful, the wonderful thing about magic, now not stage magic, stage magic is um, elitist. Uh, everybody who has a career at young with stage magic is from a rich family. You know, yeah. uh, all, these, all these guys to buy the big illusions cost huge amounts of money. Well, I, think you, I, think you, I think you said to me once that some of these illusionists, uh, the person really doing the trick is the assistant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or by building it. They're just pointing. But you know, to have a deck of cards, a really good deck of cards okay. is about six dollars. Yeah. About six dollars. And that'll last you about two weeks, you know. Mm -hmm. So really for fifty cents a day, you can have the most important piece of equipment in magic. And uh, <clears throat> guys are doing that, and you have an internet connection, which is much more expensive, and a deck of cards. You could be the best in the world. <laughs> you know, it's cheaper than a guitar. You, you, you many times have said to me that you just considered yourself a really good juggler. You didn't consider yourself a really good magician. You, well, you know, there's a, there's a famous quote where um, they asked John Lennon if Ringo was the best drummer in the world. And John Lennon answered, he's not even the best drummer in the Beatles. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, and when people say, you know, are, are, are you one of the greatest magicians? I go, I'm not even the greatest magician in Penn and Teller. You know, yeah. Teller is one of the greatest magical minds. He's, he's, a, he, he's amazing. But you are... One of the, you things. are one of the greatest presenters. You're one of the greatest entertainers, well, thanks, and, thanks. and 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 that those two the combination of the two just work amazingly. Let let me ask you one other question before we go because I said I'd only keep you about twenty five minutes here. Uh, you lost a hundred pounds. Hundred and ten, yeah. Hundred and ten. Have you, you gained some of that back at all? Uh, about seven. Over two and a half years. Yeah. But that's down below that, too, that time. There's a 
there's a fluctuation about four percent of body weight fluctuation is fine yeah well i i tended to uh, i i lost uh uh, uh over 60 pounds mm -hmm. myself I did that over a year and a half. You did it in a hundred days. I a, a pound uh, a little, little bit more than that. It was uh, I, I, I averaged uh, 0. 0.9 pounds a day, so about 120 days. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, it was. Uh, there's been weird studies that have shown that the faster you take the weight off, the more likely you are to keep it off. Very counterintuitive. But then again, I did a complete lifestyle change. I did not do a diet that ended. I did a diet that was, I'm now going to eat like this. And I now eat uh, very anti-American. Yeah. You know, I, I don't eat cheeseburgers. I don't eat pizza. Uh, I, <laughs> you know, no animal products, uh, yeah. no refined grains, extremely low salt, sugar, and fat. But it's not, uh, I'm not an ethical vegan. I'm a health vegan, which means if Every three weeks, my daughter says, have a hot fudge Sunday with me, Dad. I have a hot fudge Sunday with her. Right. Because I don't believe, although I'll tell you, once you lose your taste for meat, which happens after about three months, all the cravings go away, um, the ethical stuff really comes in. You start going, you know, maybe we shouldn't be using animals, uh, making them suffer, and destroying the environment with them. Maybe we shouldn't be doing that. It's very hard to feel that when you're longing for a cheeseburger. I am the opposite. I'm the opposite of you. I'm the opposite of you. Uh, I went on a low carb diet and ate, no, ate nothing but meat, mm -hmm. and that's how I lost the weight. So I guess and, it's whatever and, works for you. But you didn't. Uh, you, you're not still on that, are you? Uh, I'm. I, I. I. I'm worried now because I stopped, and so I'm trying to put on a few pounds to see if I can do it, and I'm having a hard time putting on the pounds. I, apparently, I've just I'm stabilized at a certain point, and uh, I've been that way for phew, God, maybe uh, six months, eight months, something like that. So you're wicked old, Alex. You're dying. I That's know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm quite old. <laughs> I'm quite old. I'm uh, I'm I'm the old fart that I thought everybody else was. Sure, yeah. we all are. Hey, Penn, thank you so much for spending some time with me. It's always a pleasure, Alex. Yeah, well, let's let's do this more often. Not, not every 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 week, but you know, every every couple of months. Let's let's get together and talk. Okay. You know my email, and you finally stop changing yours every fifteen minutes. Yeah, well, I was going through a whole thing where you know you leave your old ISP and you lose your email address you've had for 15 years and it becomes a very complicated situation. But it was a nightmare, Alex. Anyway, I, 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 as always, love to everybody. Give my best to tell her. I admire the man. He's an intelligent human being. And uh, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Ladies Bye and gentlemen. Penn Gillette. We'll see you, man. Bye-bye. This is GabNet. The Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And that's our friend Penn Gillette, and uh, we thank him for joining us tonight. And uh, we hope you enjoyed your time with him. And hopefully we'll do it again uh, sometime real soon, real soon. Anyway, um, listen, I want to explain a few things. We had a little trouble last night. Uh, and uh, I'll talk to you while I'm doing stuff I got to do to get this whole thing ready here. Okay, there we go. Uh, we had some problems last night uh, in that in the middle of the, about 10, a half hour into the show, I noticed that the signal was just going bad, and I couldn't figure out why, and uh, so I had to stop it and start it again. So then when uh, the show was over, I... Uh, I checked. I always make a recording of the of the show of the you know of the, of the video here, and that's what I put up after the fact because it's it's I edit out the, all the commercials at the beginning and things like that, the, the promos, and um, I put up a nice clean copy that people can watch, and that's the one that kind of lasts forever. Well, I, the recording, for instance, it stopped at a half hour. I don't know why it shouldn't have. It should have kept recording even when I stopped and started again. In any event, I didn't have a recording, so I had to go and take the first part of the show that I did, 
and somehow get that off of off of Facebook and download that and then download the second part and then I had an interview with my wife in China in the middle and I stitched that together I put the whole show back together again most of it and that's what you see uh, up right now but it was a mess last night I was up till three o'clock in the morning making sure you would get a good video out of this whole thing but anyway that was our uh, that was our nightmare for last night uh, and it just you know it, just, it, it Facebook it just keeps on coming folks they, somehow they just haven't got this whole thing right because I think the reason why our signal slowed down is I don't have problems with bandwidth here oh there comes uh, Rob Alfano I don't have troubles with bandwidth here now, hello there Rob how are you this evening good how are you good anyway uh, I don't have trouble with bandwidth uh, but uh, uh, apparently there's something on Facebook where occasionally the Facebook gods decide to fuck you over. So uh, I, uh, that we, so we had some problems last night, you know. Yeah, no, I was trying to watch the video with, uh, with uh, you know, Marjorie, and I'm like, you're looking at food, and I'm going, what? I, I don't I'm seeing her talking and I'm like I don't see any food or anything like that so yeah a, yeah it was uh, the whole the whole uh, first uh, and so I but I patched the whole thing together I managed to I didn't have a final recording either so what I did is I downloaded what was on the Facebook page use that put that into like uh, 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 Adobe Premiere and then I stitched the whole show together including the part with Marjorie which I cut short, oddly enough, when we were doing the show, so you got to see the whole thing. Because it wasn't working. Huh? It wasn't, it wasn't working. It wasn't working. The whole thing was yeah. just, oh, it's just, it was just horrible. So yeah. anyway, but so I was really fearful tonight the same thing was going to happen. I don't know what the problem is. I've got great bandwidth here. I mean, you saw the thing, if you saw the thing with Penn, he was out of sync. Uh, that always happens to me when I'm doing one-on-one -on -one with somebody. Now, you're in sync when I'm talking to you. Well, because it's a Skype call, it's not video. Frame, it's. Does it go out of sync right away, or does it take time? No, it's it's out of sync uh, when I start recording it. You know, but now I'm talking to you, and you're a little out of sync, but not by much. Not enough that it would, uh, it would cause a problem. You know, so um, anyway, so I, you know, I, I, and once I get a lot of people on, there's everybody's in sync. So I, I, you know, I just. I wonder why I just don't go back to doing this as a radio show and say fuck the TV. <laughs> you know, I just put one more. I put one more burden on myself. No, I don't yeah. care about TV. To be honest with you, never have. But if, if you didn't, you wouldn't have spent all that time piecing it together. Well, I I I did it for the audience, and then when I finally got the final version pieced together, only about thirty people looked at it. You know, uh, because people I think had given up on. <laughs> I did it about three times. I found the first time I, I posted a, a final version, I hadn't stitched the pieces together and there were blank spots in it. So I had to go back and re-generate uh, 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 it. And uh, I, was, I was up till 3 o'clock in the morning. And then it wasn't until this morning we actually got a good final version up. Yeah, so. Hey, have you, uh, have you updated your watch yet? My what? <laughs> Look what he got. <laughs> no, I mean I've had this. I'm just saying, did you put OS four on it? No. Is there oh. no, is there a new OS? Yeah. Really? Came out today or yesterday? I put it on today. I did. You have to do your iPhone first. Yeah. Because I went to do the watch first, and it said it was up to date. So then I put the. I did the. I saw. Oh, the the the. Got to do eleven. Yeah. On the phone, when I did eleven on the phone, and let me do the watch OS. Well, watch OS is cool. Well, I really wanted it for the heart beating and all that, you know, because now it tracks your heartbeat. Oh, oh, it tracks your heartbeat. It used yeah, to. Wait and, a minute, it used to track your. Uh, was it your pulse? What did it? Tra I can't remember. It tracks the same something. thing. It's the same thing, but now it's not in the. Uh, it's it's uh it it can tell you, if you if you have a problem with your heart. Yeah. Like if we're sitting here talking now. It will let you know, like if my heart starts to race and you don't realize it, this yeah. will alert you that the heart's racing. Oh, really? Yeah, or if so you don't have a heart. Or if you don't have a heart, yeah. Then in, well, in your case, you don't need it. The Republicans, right. you know, 
Republican. We're though. trying to take away health care again from yeah. poor men. Yeah, but anyway, we'll get to that in a little bit here. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, yeah, it was technology day for me. I put the new iPhone uh, OS on. Different font on the on the iPhone. Really? I so I don't even have my uh, phone in the room here because I'm afraid it will ring. You so. see that? Yeah. Uh, I uh, got a uh, oh. phone call today from the uh, Apple business team. And they said, have you seen the new iPhone and the new this and the new that? And, you know, come on down. We'll, I'll give you a special presentation. And so uh, I'll go s uh, Saturday. Because they know they're going to get a 1000 bucks out of you. That's why. Yeah, at least. This, but, well, that uh, phone isn't going to be available till November. That's all right. Well, oh, let me play with something. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know what? I, I was wondering. I Like, it, it, if it, they have... AT&T has this next plan. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, ex that. explain that to me. Do you like it better than the way no, it used to be? I don't. I don't like it better. They tell you it's better, but it's not. What they do is, so you get a phone, and instead of laying out money, you pay it monthly until it's paid off. And they tell you you could upgrade every year, you could upgrade every two years. Well, I'm now two years into this phone this month, Yeah. and I'm still not paid off. Yeah, me too. Uh, what the hell? I called AT and T. I got pitched by Verizon. Uh, they came into the store. They pitched me. Not only are they going to give me unlimited uh, on my cell phones and uh, my iPad, and uh, they're going to give me phones for the store, voice over IP, and a whole bunch of other shit. Less money, better technology, and uh, so in November I can switch the store and I can switch the iPhones now and the iPad. So uh, I think I'm going to go to the Verizon. I would, I would watch out for it. Uh, why for, is that? Verizon is it, very I'm famous for making, in, in making initial <laughs> deals, and then uh -huh. within about a year, uh, all of a sudden you're finding out they're throwing another 50 bucks on your bill. Well, uh, from what I was told, the, the deal was the deal. Well, the, 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 I would check it out. All right. Yeah. Eight, 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 I, like, eight, I'm very eight. suspicious about my Fios here, I'm getting it yeah. for a really nice price, two thirty-three a month, and I'm getting everything plus more that I mm. that I was getting for two three thirty-six from yeah. uh, Time Warner, and later on I had that and lower that to like oh I don't know two seventy or something like that. I'm getting much more, but I know that eventually, like in two years, they're gonna there are a couple of things that are gonna go up, and I probably pay about thirty forty bucks more a month. Well, yeah, I'll uh, I'll check it out. The, no, but, the I, but that isn't what I was asking about, Phil. Yeah. I was asking about this 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 next program where right. you you Purchase. don't own the phone. Like I, I every time I've gotten a new phone, I pay put out the four hundred dollars for the phone, and, uh, and then I had to, and it was a, it was four hundred bucks because they were picking up part of the cost, so you had to guarantee them How two this years. Was six hundred. Because you this got was ripped a six, but got, I ended up with a six S now. You got you got ripped off. It's it's uh, like a lease. Oh, it's a one twenty eight. Mine's a one twenty eight. Uh, uh, but uh, I don't think I made payments. I I, I think no. I paid only... I paid a, a flat fee, and then they took care of part of the price of it. But I had to sign up for two years. I had to guarantee them two years right. in yes. order to get yeah, it I for them guarantee. to make it worthwhile for them to pick up the. Uh, the additional cost, where the phone is like listed by Apple as like eight hundred dollars, and they pick up four hundred, and you pay four hundred. Oh. I think the reason they these they, these companies have switched to this is because they realize up until this phone, I up until I got this phone, I had you paid uh, what two hundred, two hundred, one ninety nine was it right? You get one ninety nine yeah. or two ninety nine depending upon the, that was for the, the uh, hardware with yeah. Um, and and you you had the phone and then they subsidized the rest and then they start seeing that and I did this with every iPhone since the iPhone 4 mm -hmm. when two years was up and I wanted to get the next one I was able to sell this for more than I paid for it and then use it to subsidize the new phone so these companies got a smart they're like you know we're seeing all these phones going for all this money so let's stop this letting them letting people profit on it and now that's why they're charging you the full price of the phone. You know, you know why you could sell it? Uh, because they were it's using, Apple. No, no, they were using them uh, as triggers for uh, IEDs over in Iraq. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, uh, very funny. 
Uh, but yeah, I know that those companies have di- kind of slowly disappeared into the into the nowhere. Well, I'm told. The, the I'm buy. told that if now I want to go down and buy a phone at AT and T, you know, like I did before, and get that deal where I pay like four hundred and they, tr- I have to sign two years with them, mm-hmm. uh, that that no longer exists. Right. No. It doesn't exist. The, the next phone I buy, I would have to do on this next plan. Now explain it to me. They say like thirty nine dollars well, a month. Okay. Are you buying from Apple or are you buying it from AT and T? It doesn't uh, matter because, who you buy it from. If you buy it from, no, if, oh, if you get it from, Apple if you get it, it, it doesn't matter. If you get it from, a, do it. If you listen to me. If you get it from Apple, they're going to turn you over to AT and T, and AT and T is going to make the deal with you. Right. Okay. Well, Apple wouldn't even sell it to me. Uh, unless I signed up for their particular plan. Uh, now, it was on AT&T. Oh, but yeah, they have a plan, too. Yeah, but anyway, here's the point. Here, here's my question. So I pay 39 bucks a month. That's okay. My, my, my bill every month is about $136 total with everything. All right? One or two phones? Uh, one phone. Oh, okay. And, and uh, uh, I have unlimited, and, you know, I'm grandfathered into the unlimited. Yeah. Now, my question is, you pay the thirty nine bucks. Now, what do you pay above and beyond that for service? Oh well, that depends. If if you if you're going to go with the next program and you want, they don't they they cut it down now. You don't get you don't have all the choices that you used to have. Pretty much now, you have to go with an unlimited phone plan. Uh, otherwise, like I have a six gig a month plan. And that's a, a shared plan for me and my wife. Yeah. Between the rental of the two phones, unlimited texting, unlimited phone, and six gig of data mm-hmm. per month, plus the cost of each rental, she's got a 6X plus, I've got the 6S. It's $145 a month. Well, that's yeah, cheaper that's than I'm paying up. now. It's yeah, cheap. it's a good no. It's it's a good deal. It's it's definitely a good deal. And you can get a, a new phone. Next and year. you can get a new phone every year. What is that yeah. deal? It Problem makes the price it, go up because yeah. you still owe on this phone. Uh, now Apple had a deal. Uh, they pitched when the six uh, six or six S came out, and they said uh, that they had a deal where you could trade it in every year. Yeah. Uh, and um, a higher amount per month. Uh, yeah. Um, of course. Not so sure. so they, you. They, if you waited until like the tenth month of the contract, you were able to get out of it clean or something. Something to that effect. Then you're paying uh, more per month. Otherwise, it doesn't none make of this any makes sense. sense to me. So you're paying yeah, thirty nine okay. bucks a month for the phone, and then you're paying above and beyond that the service fees for the, service. For the unlimited and so on. Right. So I could probably get away for less than I'm paying now. If you're only paying 145 bucks and I'm paying 136 a month, but I could probably can you even can. Will they even let you do AT and T next if you are grandfathered into a plan oh, like no. that unlimited? I don't think so. Yeah, they well, no, I would have to get out of the unlimited yeah. plan and yeah. go to whatever their plan is. But I know but they I, have rollover minutes and. I, do you ever look at your bill and see? You know how something? Many Nobody ever using? calls me, and I never call anybody. Okay, I call. It's not even your phone. I it's call Shecky once a week and talk for an hour. That's the most I use my phone, and I don't know why I have. Here's the reason I have the unlimited. Number one, I'm grandfathered into it, but I would go to, like for phone minutes. I would go to less. Okay, only they won't let you. The, no, they will, but the less. Is maybe less than I more than I, less than I would use, or, uh, and the high end is more than I would use because they have this big giant donut hole between yeah. the low price and the higher price, and you're going well. I might use 200 minutes, but I, I you know, if I go over that, then they charge me so much. But if I get the uh, unlimited, uh, yeah. you know, but you don't have a choice of. 200 minutes, 400 minutes, 600 minutes, you know, whatever. Let let me talk to you. AT&T gave me this hotspot. It's like my own cell tower uh, when I was living in the the hills of uh, Oakland. And um, with that, uh, not only do you get a 9-11 connection so they know where you are, but... You don't use minutes. Uh, this I'll show it to you. I still have it in, uh, in, a, in the uh, on a shelf. Uh, and uh, what it is is, uh, uh, for instance, uh, it, it, there's no minutes. You're using your Wi-Fi 
over this thing and you're not having to pay for minutes. Yeah, but yeah, you're only I'm using your wi you're now, only in, using your Wi-Fi when you're in your house or in a place where you have the Wi-Fi. I think when you're outdoors, places. you're going to use the bandwidth and and it, you're not going to be using Wi-Fi. Yeah, like when Marjorie yeah. was in Ch Hong Kong, she took the $40 plan for <laughs> international in case she needed it, but yeah. be, but whenever we talked to each other on FaceTime and stuff, it was on Wi-Fi. She wasn't using the bandwidth system. This is Wi-Fi right. cell usage. Uh, right. Yeah, they do the Wi-Fi cell usage. It's, uh, yeah. But aren't those um, obsolete um, now? Powerful. Yeah. Uh, because those used to be the uh, the... They filled in for spots. If you're in a bad area, my don't go. Don't it. go get it, Phil. We don't have to see it. <laughs> it's got dust on it. And everything. it yeah, we don't but uh, she it. was in a bad area down in the Central Valley, and they gave her one of those until they bought the cell tower. And then when the cell tower came in, it was just like junk. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I, I you know, they have a racket right now. And see, I can't because I do the shared plan. With the shared plan, I can't. Uh, I can't have anything but unlimited uh, uh, yeah. cell and uh, and well texting. I think I don't need, but you definitely have to have unlimited talk if yeah. you're going to do old. a shared plan. Yeah, that's old school. Yeah, that's yeah. old stuff. This is called a micro cell. It's uh, antique. Toss it out. This. <laughs> yep. Uh, I don't know. I haven't. I haven't used it in two years. But three G. <laughs> That's why. My daughter had one. Yeah, it was <laughs> nice of them to give it to you just as it was being phased out. No, it, it's for pretty much about when they sell. left. It, but it's 3G. Uh, yeah. Do you need more than that for your cell phone? Yes. No, Everything's uh, for now. Uh, well, I will tell you those... something. Phil, I will tell you something. The difference between AT&T and Verizon when it comes yeah. to the iPhone. You remember iPhone was the, uh, I should say, AT&T was the first carrier and exclusive for iPhone for a lot of years. Yes. Yeah. That's then they I'm opened it up. Bothered. So if you go to Verizon, one of the things that I don't like, and I had a Verizon uh, cell um, iPhone, that is that you can't do data and cellular at the same time. So if you're on That's a phone, true. That's true. That's if you're true. on a call and you need to look up something on, on your web browser, you're, you're shit out really? of luck. Yes. Really? I didn't know that. Yes. You only get one or the other. If you're on the phone, you can't surf the net and vice versa. Yeah, I so forgot about that. That's the one downside for AT for Verizon's uh, uh, yeah, but, internet. But, but Verizon <coughs> is famous for selling you one thing and then a year later saying, well, now the price is going up. Like I asked well, them, all, I asked them about my, uh, my internet connection here, and they said it will go up next year $5. And after that, I said, how, is, how much is it going to go up? And they said, uh, it, nothing, they said. They uh, said. They yeah. said. But They'll I've heard. The company I, by then. <laughs> what? The guy that told you that will be able to have left the company. Well, by then. you yeah. know, in two yeah. years, in two well, years, when all these you. little little bargains run out, okay, uh, they could add maybe $30, $40 to my bill. I can always then say, hey, well, I'll just go back to Spectrum. Goodbye. Yeah. You know. It's, bas it's basically a watch and bitch. bitch. Hmm? Then you'll get the Spectrum deal when you go back because you'll be a new. Uh, I really don't want store. them. I'll tell, I'll tell you, I, I, Fios is really good. I mean, yeah. I, and yeah, I think, is. you know, it is. I, I didn't think I would be saying this, but I have to say that. For instance, I get channels that I never got for free before. Uh, that's just on the TV part. The speed on this on this internet, which is almost a gig up and a gig down, almost about 900, uh, is just so incredible that where I used to upload my show and it used to take yeah on a good on a really good night it used to take about 45 seconds. It does it in under five seconds. Well, I can tell you with my Comcast, I just did a speed test, and I saw it. Therefore, I rebooted my computer. I rebooted the modem tonight. I, I just got a, a fresh, clean deal. Uh, right now, I'm at 65 down and 13 or 12 up. Oh, you're, I am you're, not happy. You're, you're like a tortoise compared to me, man. Not me. Yeah. You come here, watch me down, upload stuff to the server and uh, up to GoDaddy, and it's just like, whoop. Like, I mean, the exchange, which is just a 25-minute show, 
I I can't even I blink without it being up uploaded. That's how well, fast this is it is. Watching paint dry. So you and know, and also you got, you guys here, have said I'd the audio on the show sounds better, you know, mm -hmm. and it 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 it's a it's a fast pipe and it's steady. It doesn't yeah. like it doesn't. It's not shared. It's not shared. It's not shared. Yeah. Is the Comcast shared? Uh, I thought yes. the Comcast. Oh yeah. Was oh yeah. Shared. Any cable any right. cable uh, internet is shared. Right. And mm -hmm. there's certain hours at night where everybody's on it in your they call it a node. Yeah. And yeah. and uh, it, you could be well, crawling I'll, along, I'll, you know. You, you yeah. it, 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 later on tonight, try yeah. that same test. You'll probably find that it's uh, it's different. You know? Yeah, yeah, it definitely fluctuates throughout. Yeah, because sometimes I do the test. It's like one twenty, but I've never get more than twelve or thirteen up. Yeah, uh, it's another limitation of most cable systems. Now they have uh, a, a service called uh, Waze. Uh, Ways used to be astound, and that's fiber. Uh, I'm just wondering, maybe I should switch to that. Well, don't you have FiOS in your area? I don't know. I don't think so. I, I'm not sure. I'm sure variety. You can go there on the site and, and run your zip code. I know we don't have it here. Otherwise, I'd hook it up in a heartbeat. Yeah. Really? Well, I'm. I waited a little bit because I had heard things about. You know, I yeah. mean, I had a horrible time with them in the beginning. You know, yeah. uh, uh, but uh, then they, oh, they, they sent out somebody who spent three hours here uh, fixing a situation which they weren't even really responsible for. And I think I, I my loyalty was built on that. OK, yeah. you know, um, and, uh, I, you know, the only thing I was mad about was when they sold it to me, they didn't tell me about the quantum Fios, which was five dollars more a month. But for me to have everything pulled out and reinstalled cost me a hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, that that's the part that bothered me. They should have just said, oh, he didn't tell you about it? Complimentary. But, you right. know, nobody can say complimentary anymore. They, they have to go to their supervisor, has to talk to their supervisor's supervisor. And then right. you hear, unless they can get to the head of Verizon, they won't change it. So. But they yeah, no, I understand. I'm still I'm battling with uh, with Comcast at the store. You yeah. know, they keep telling me that the city is holding up the uh, the permit process, and I keep telling them, "No, you haven't applied." And then they say, "What, How what, do you know? what like, permit process?" Uh, they have to dig 44 feet of trench to to run the uh, cable over to the building mm. from uh, the street box. Yeah, well, that's. So, uh, so in order to do that, they use an outside service, and this outside service is uh, their left hand doesn't talk to their right. So yeah, that's pretty. I'm using AT and T, and it's less than three quarters of a gig <laughs> up and uh, yeah. three down. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> so I don't know what to do with my uh, with my phone. I mean, right now I'm not going to do anything. But if I can. You know, I'm I'm looking to lower costs everywhere. If I could lower the cost of having a, f a cell phone, you know, I use my iPad more than I use a cell phone. What's yep. that T-Mobile stuff? Uh, Thirty bucks, forty yeah, bucks. Yeah, well, if, yeah, but also, uh, you know, T-Mobile is sub yeah. really substandard network. Yeah, yeah. I would never use it. I do a lot of driving, and I I rely on Waze, and I need data. And uh, yeah. you know, it it's really rare it my, really it really depends on what what city you're in as to who is yeah. the best. Right, uh, but if you I, travel a lot, you're yeah. better off with either Verizon or AT&T. When I lived I, in San Francisco, uh, AT&T sucked, but I think it was Verizon that was good. And, yeah. and when I moved uh, to yeah. New York, it was Verizon that sucked and AT&T that was good. When I go out on the motorcycle and I go to the hinterlands and I'm, I'm out in the middle of nowhere, the guys who have uh, with, with me who have Verizon, they have signal. I never have signal. Now, yeah. I have, I have a two-year deal with Verizon. You know, I've got to do it, or if I want to get out, it's like 350 bucks, and then they take off 10 bucks a month for every month that I've had it, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but I wonder, I have like their ultimate program. But suppose I want to change programs. That doesn't count against me leaving Verizon, does it? No, but I think it extends your contract. It does, it extends it. Which, so uh, if you make a contract change, mm -hmm. you're in it. It's same with AT and T. I mm -hmm. think if you make a contract change by downgrading, you're 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 obligated for another couple of years. Yeah, you start your contract over. Really? Yeah. yeah. The best way to do not it. Not if you is, change. Not if you change minutes or data. 
not if you do that, but if you make a, a substantial change beyond that, it starts uh, over. Really? I thought it yeah. was the anything. I've, I've upgraded and downgraded my, you know, I, I had uh, unlimited with as a as a direct TV customer mm -hmm. with AT and T. I can get the unlimited AT and T data plan for my phone, and right. so when I first, so I switched to it, and I was like, hey, I could get this, and then I'm spending. How much like, is that? I, I think I paid for the two phones. It was 180 a month. Now I'm paying what? And Alex, what do we pay? Thirty bucks a month for the unlimited data on AT and T. Well, I was I was grandfathered into it. It's Me too. It, well, it's thirty bucks on. I don't know if it's on the phone or the iPad. I have it both on the it's, iPad. And uh, it's on, uh, I know I it's on. I don't have the unlimited on the iPad. On the phone, I think it's thirty bucks. Uh, the old plan, the unlimited uh, grandfather plan. Yeah. So that that really is basically the difference, right? I'm paying one forty now, so it was forty right. bucks a month. I'll tell you, I'm a, I'm a real sucker oh, because one forty is seventy. I'm, I'm really seriously thinking about getting the Apple Watch that has uh, the new one yeah. uh, ha, uh, that has cellular on it. It sounds. Well, I saw a, uh, a review today that said the cellular was having issues and they had to do some upgrades to the uh, cellular. Some, some providers, not all providers, just some providers. Uh, AT and T, they were talking about. Change the band on Phase Watch. Uh, she's not using it, mm -hmm. and I'm going to uh, have them pair it because uh, I, I couldn't figure it. Out. I'm going to have them pair it with my iPhone and see if I like it. If I like the it, the simplest thing in the world, the Phil. Simplest thing in the world. Pair it. I what? tried pairing it. It was giving oh me a heart. Oh my god! That's the simplest Which thing in the world. It goes. <laughs> hey, I, 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 I'm hi, hi, Jeff. You just point I, your, you just point your I, phone's I, camera to I, it. I did that. Uh, nothing. Uh, I'll so, let my daughter come by and do it for you. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just going on Saturday. After school, yeah. right? After yeah. After, after, school. after grammar school. Before when I go, to, when I go to the Apple Store on Saturday, they're going to do that too. So, what's new about yeah. the Apple Watch? Uh, now that you upgraded, Rob. Well, you get a different. You get a couple of different face choices. You get the. There's a, a much better exercise app, which I have a stair climber, right? Which mm -hmm. I'm going to start using once we uh, move into the new house, and uh, it has an actual stair climber app. So you could do a running app. You could do a stair climber yeah. app. You can do a cycling app. They have all these different apps that you can as use. A that, who has, who, 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 as a person who has basically spent his life trying to go towards atrophy, uh, these additions to the watch don't mean much to me. But Well, I like the heart thing. Mm. Well, they, but they had a was – it, was, it, was it the pulse that, I, that you had? But the problem I is I turned it off because it was eating up power like crazy. Oh, if you'll be, you can see my watch here. Yeah. But here's, there's, you know how like you have that view when you go to the different. Um, yeah, yeah. So they have a new. Let's see if I can get to it here. Here you go. You push in the stem. Yeah. Uh, Got to log in here because I took it off. Yeah. Okay. Now when you push in the stem, that's a new face, by the way. If you push in the stem, see this? Instead of having all of that stuff oh. on the screen, all those, all those dots. Yeah. There's. There's all your applications. You can select it in a list alphabetically now. Oh, okay. You can't do that to the old phone uh, with an iOS uh, update. So all the apps that you have now, instead of having that big blob of things where you try to the find. Bubble. Yeah. Yeah, the bubbles. Oh, oh, oh yeah, the bubbles. Do, yeah. Yeah, you can now do it this way. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice touch. Yeah. There's, there's, there's some that, nice features. How much like, does that cost now? Uh, well, I this is the same watch. This is still the, the one um, it has like here's I have an alert here. Yeah, uh, it went away. Mine's the two, and if I want to get the one that has cellular, it will be the new one will be four twenty. Plus and ten. What about with the the plan, the, you ten, get the ten, insurance plan. Ten, no, no. Ten dollars. Ten. It's a watch. So fifty bucks or something for. No. Uh, so, no. Yeah. Uh, I, I only get that I only get that on like the iPhone and the reason I get it on the iPhone is when you buy an iPhone you're obligated to them for two years if you lose the phone or the phone breaks or whatever you still owe them the money they'll give you a replacement no phone. they won't uh, no, they, they, but they, not, you'll not play hell doing that the fact is that if you don't ha if you lost your phone 
uh, they can they can still keep charging you every right. month for that phone, but and so that's why you have, take out insurance for they, it. They have replacement phones, but they're not an iPhone. It's like, you know, when you go to a restaurant and they require you to wear a tie and jacket and you don't have one with you, yeah. and they give you one and it barely fits, and the tie is like uh, fat and, t and two inches long? Well, well uh, that's the kind of that's phone. That's not what I heard. What I heard is you lose your phone, you lose your phone, you still owe them the money. So if you're insured, you get another phone. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you're, you're, uh, that's how I ended up with the 6S. They didn't have any more sixes in the uh, color gray that I had, some space gray or something. And so I said, no, 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 I want the same color. And they were nice enough. They said, well, we don't have any, so we'll give you a 6S. And uh, I like the 6S. I, I is don't that the large one? It's the large one, right? Yes. Yeah, Plus. That's, what, that's what I have is a 6S. Yeah. But anyway, um, um, you know, but the thing is that, that it costs uh, 10 bucks a month for the extra... And you ha you have your f your phone has the same phone number as your phone. Oh, the watch. It, yeah, so that all your all your messages come into the phone, even though you don't have the uh, you don't have your iPhone nearby. You can take calls. The way you have to listen to them is with a Bluetooth earphone. But and I'm not buying one of those hash pipes to put no. in my ear. I'm gonna go. No, I, I just get I a. Do that either. I just get a regular Bluetooth set e earphone to to have it work with. But you can make calls with it. You can, you know, and you no. don't need to have the iPhone anywhere near you. What this but, is right now is an extension of the of the iPhone, basically. Yeah, well, but with this extension, for instance, uh, my girlfriend, when she's in the car, uh, she doesn't have, uh, she has a Ford Focus, and it doesn't have uh, a Bluetooth radio or anything. Mm -hmm. And so on her... Um, uh, phone. Uh, she has the iPhone and she has the watch. She's able to use the watch to to talk hands free mm -hmm. uh, when she wears it, which is never. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but I I love this watch. I really do. But I th I, I thought I would have uh, buyer's remorse and uh, no such thing. You know. Yeah. I'm very. Well, I'm going to try it uh, Saturday. They'll pair it and uh, they'll do what I couldn't do. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll try it. I don't know that I see anything in the new iPhone that I particularly want, you know. Not the thousand dollar phone. And, not the, and the thousand dollar phone just isn't worth it. You, you know? know, the most one of the best looking phones they ever made was the five, and from what I under, and the four, and I from what I understand, the X is or the ten is going to have that glass back. Yes, and, uh, it's it's going to be that really gorgeous phone. But if you end up putting yeah, but the case it, so it's a gorgeous phone. So you're paying a thousand bucks for it. Was it for bragging rights? No, and it's, you're gonna, it's $300 and is that, more. What? And you're going to put a case on it. Yeah, well, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah exactly. Yeah, you're exactly. going to put a case on it. Yeah, but uh, I think the difference is three hundred. Uh, isn't the other phone seven or eight hundred? And this one's a thousand. Well, these are the prices. Most people don't pay those prices. Okay, they have a plan, for instance, where they get the next plan and then they pay for it every month. Exactly. Okay, uh, or no, why God made Gentiles? And I guess they don't have the plan I had, which is I paid I think four or five hundred bucks for my phone, and then uh, I had to give them two years worth of service. You know, but you, you didn't answer. You, you know why God made Gentiles? They needed oh. somebody to pay retail. <laughs> Don't laugh at your own jokes, especially when they're not funny and old. Really, really uh, old. All right. Just, yeah. uh, bada boom. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway. I keep, trying out, I keep trying out new faces on this watch. I just did the Siri one. So you just tap the face and then Siri is ready to help you. And it gives you all kinds of information. I can't. Let's see if I can turn it here. Yeah. You know, it Bob, gives this... you all kinds of information on the on the face of the watch. This is a new watch, not just an update. No, no, no. This is still Watch One. Oh, okay. Still the first generation watch with the OS four on it. I see. So I'm getting value out of this watch still. I, I don't know the difference between Watch One and Watch Two besides um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, processor. Was it the battery? Keep, keep time? talking to each other. I'm going to go get my phone. Yeah. Keep talking. Uh, uh, was it the battery um, uh, life on the one was shorter than the two? It could be. I, I tell you what, this if I wear this from 8 in the morning until midnight, 
Yeah. I'm exhausted. The battery is exhausted. I'm lucky I make it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so for sure. Uh, and I don't really, I'm not somebody who is, a, I'm not always playing. In fact, I rarely touch it, quite frankly. You know, it, it, it alerts you when you need to stand and take a breath and yeah well, i kind of like the idea of the charging station for the new ones uh you know where it's got a mm. disc or something and you just set it on yeah. that okay. and i think the phone is going to be the same thing but that that stupid thing is expensive doesn't it come with the phone bucks. no it doesn't come with the phone so no, we're, 60 we're bucks. The, the phone. charging station for the new phones and yeah and and, and uh watch you know, it's, it's big enough dip. that you can put your phone, your watch, and your yeah. your uh, rechargeable earpieces on it. Yeah. yeah. Have you upgraded your phone? To no, the latest, I haven't. Uh, so I, that, iOS 11. That's what oh, I'm. No. That's what I'm going to no. do right now. Yeah, it's 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 see. cool. Come on, there we go. Yeah, uh, Mike asked me at work to do it, and I'm always in a hurry, so I say, no, nah, no, nah, put it off, put it off. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed that there was a glitch in the old system. I was down there last week, and they and I it kept telling me I had too much. Uh, I'd used up too much of my memory. I had to manage my storage and all that crap. Well, there was a calculator in there, and if you looked at like your pictures and your music and you added up the gigs, it was nowhere near your capacity. Yeah, they try to sell you. I'm I'm paying 99 cents a month because uh, I, I one of the last time I did an update, they said I didn't have enough. Uh, yeah, yeah, but this is a glitch in the 6s, I guess. I don't know. In the last operating system, he said OS 11 was going to fix it. Uh, I didn't oh, have a problem with my 6s. With oh, what I'm you're talking about. That's the only thing I had a problem with because I bought a 64 gig, I guess, or maybe it was a 128, and I, I didn't think I could even get close to filling it up because I use the cloud and everything else. Yeah. I was telling me you need to manage your storage, and I went down there and talked to him about something else, and I showed him my phone. He goes, oh, yeah, your gigs don't even line, add up. I didn't even check it myself. And he goes, your music, your pictures, they're the biggest ones, and that's not even close to your capacity. It says OS 11 will fix it. You know, I'd like to delete 90% of the pictures that are on my phone, and uh, I, I delete them, and then they come back. Uh, uh, you got to get them synced up. Yeah. It uh, is exactly. downloading, by the way, and I don't know if this has anything to do with my internet here, but it is downloading this thing in nothing flat. I've got like 42 seconds remaining. Oh. You wow. Know. And I'm, I'm using. Mine, mine I'm, took a long time this morning when I tried to do it. I, I had, I had, especially when I did the watch one, it was like an hour wait. and a half. And uh, I attribute that to a lot of people connecting right now to Apple's site sure. to download all this stuff. Yeah, twenty. Uh, I'm on the five G uh, Wi-Fi right now because in this room I've got it and it's strong. And I'm down to thirteen seconds remaining for the load. Uh, you know. So, oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. Uh, I'm not even going to try and download it now because then I'll lose you. <laughs> really? Why? Be oh, because of your internet connection. Oh yeah, you become herky jerky and. Can't hear half of what you're saying the whole bit. I'm uh, I'm up to preparing update. How long did that take with you, Rob? That's quick. Yeah. Well, this morning it I would say that probably took about ten minutes for it to get where you are in that quick a time. Yeah. But normally it goes much faster. It's just I think today is day one, and uh, I caught it this morning first thing. I was like I woke up and oh. I was laying in bed yeah. looking at my messages getting ready to get up and i i just said you know what is it apple day so i went and i checked it sure enough there it was well, started out at four minutes four hours mm. and it went from four hours to three hours all right to well let, let's stop with the tech talk right now while my <laughs> phone is you know because uh, all the we, we've lost what women we have already um today um you know there's an old saying that insanity is what? It is attempting to do the same thing over and over again, getting the same result and getting, expecting, different expecting result. A, a different Civility. result, but never getting a different result. That is the true uh, definition of insanity, which leads me to believe that Mitch McConnell and his boys are insane. Because here we go again. It's not the same thing over and oh, over. Oh no! Oh, geez! Don't tell me it's not the same thing over and over <laughs> again. They're trying for this. They're trying for the same thing over and over again. No. Uh, McCain said that he would not vote 
uh, unless there was uh, some sort of uh, other thing that had to happen, and this other thing happened, so therefore uh, he got what he wanted, and they may have enough to. Uh, I don't uh, think so. To, no. To, no. To the, no. Bet you they won't. I don't think so. Still it's no just that Susan, what her name is, and uh, I don't think so. Out. I'm hoping not too, because this is actually the worst of all the bills. Yep. Well, uh, if whatever it was that McCain wanted, uh, he, he they did it, and uh, that may just appease him enough. Plus, didn't they just go home for a recess or something? And so uh, they uh, they're not going to get the flack that they would have gotten if they voted now and if they vote a week or two from now, uh, it'll all, be a different deal. All I'm deal. saying is we're talking insanity. We're talking pure insanity. We're talking getting the same result over and over and over and over and expecting a different outcome. It's the same thing. You just don't like change. You know, yeah, Trump but I've heard, this, <laughs> Trump I've heard that McCain, they may, the McCain may be happy, but there's four or five other people that are not happy now. Yeah, but they'll vote. Uh, they'll vote party. Uh, I don't know. I don't know yeah. about that. They, yeah. Why would any of them want to vote for this with this president? Because he'll throw them under the bus in a second flat. Well, yeah. you know, because yep. he's he's shown them that uh, he won't take their guff. You know that uh, they're going to have right. to. He's do a their tough. Job. He's a tough president. He's a sharp yeah, he's, knife. He's a tough president. He talked to Rocket Man in a language he could understand. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Real brilliant. Yeah. And you know what Real Rocket Man? You know what Rocket Man did in the last twenty-four hours? He set off firecrackers. He set off another nuclear device. So you know, yeah, he really got. He really sent the message smart. home. Scared the crap out of brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Most you dangerous know, time many, in the world's history, and look who's president. Yeah. Let me ask you this: How many nukes do you mm -hmm. think he has in his arsenal? Who? And uh, uh, Kim Jong Un, you know, maybe he has a factory. Yeah. Yeah, we'll never know. <laughs> so, so why can if he wants money, how come he can't sell that technology to Iran, who has money, the 175 billion we gave him back, uh, and uh, as well as all that oil revenue? How come uh, if if he's starving for money and Iran is uh, not playing by the rules? Uh, why can't who they said, just sell, who said that uh, he's starving? Who said he's starving for money? His people are starving, but he's not. Yeah, well, no, he doesn't look like he's starving. That's for sure. But uh, he's, <laughs> and he has he, tra he has trade deals with China. He has trade deals with Iran. He has trade deals with a lot of other countries. Right, but it doesn't seem to be that he's trading nukes for money. Well, we don't uh, know that he isn't trading nukes for money. Uh, well, it, if he's developing the nukes, and supposedly the the country uh, they're using all the revenue for military and for developing nukes, uh, and the people are starving, he could easily mm -hmm. just sell some nukes to Iran. Who, Who's going to buy? Iran. Oh, yeah. Iran would buy. Yeah, and then, there you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, if they, I, I, all if, I'm saying, all I'm saying is, is that we're we're, we're getting off topic here. We the, to the topic is the 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 healthcare thing, where they're trying no. once again to come up with something. And you know, I I think you would have thought after seven years of just, and ultimately the last failure was the biggest failure. They would have just fucking given up and if tried to plan, come up, tried to a real yeah. plan. It would be out there if they came up with a plan that took Obamacare, kept it in force, but created a better, some better answers to the problems that are inherent in Obamacare. Uh, and even Obama today said it's not a perfect plan. It could be improved. It could be changed. But they're not doing that. They're so dead set again, uh, for getting this thing uh, uh, alienated. To the, uh, you don't right. they, could, they, could spend, they could spend less time trying to fix what's there no. And trying to just dump everything. Alex of course and they the could. You want single payer health care. And by putting the states in control of their own budget and just hey, giving Phil. them money. Yeah, and you know, hey, and, 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 and you know what's going to happen, Phil? You know what's going to happen, Phil? A lot yeah. of people aren't going to be getting medical care from those fucking states. Well, they'll have yep. to move. 
Well, hey, Phil, let me ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, got, yeah. They'll have to a, move. That sounds like a white a, dilettante that you are. Oh, they'll have to move. They some of them can't afford. California. Some of them can't Phil, afford to move. Co-op in your business, right? Why are you part of that co-op? I, uh, I got an answer for Phil when you're done. Hey, yeah. I got, why are you part of that co-op? Uh, it gives me the ability to compete. Uh, on a on a level with uh, Home Depot and, and and other stores. And why does it do that? It does it because I have the buying power. Ah. Of, of... Oh. So now you want to take and go fifty individual the health programs. Pri- the co-op is private, and I own it. Uh, whereas uh, with uh, the health care, uh, I believe that when you have the government running it, you see, I'm I'm all for a health care co-op that you buy hey, hey. it. Hey, let, uh, let me give you an option to go for it, Phil, real quick. Yeah, uh, why don't we have Why don't we have two plans? We can have the Republicans let them have their plan. Let the Democrats have their plan. That's only two plans. I used to audit the state <laughs> government in Ohio. There was total waste and fraud at the government level. Right. The lobbyist, the lobbying is so cheap at the state level. They can get anything they want. They It's divide and conquer, and then they're going to cut off funding in nine years. So uh, they're just splitting it up. Fifty-two different plans doesn't make any sense at all. Well, I, I, I think everybody should have a coat and two pairs of plans. Yeah, but uh, yeah, and a vest. But uh, it's a Marx Brothers you know, joke. Uh, yeah, well, it's pretty old. <laughs> I know it's really old. Funny. <laughs> uh, McCain has three plans. McCain has three single payer plans: VA, Medicare and federal employee benefits. Three single-payer plans, and he's the biggest hypocrite if he votes for this bill. Because it's not, the bill is very, maybe good for the first year or two, but if you look down the road, there'll be so much less funds, there'll be, there will be people dying. There'll be there, there, is no dying. Way, there is no way that McCain is going to go along with anything. Uh, well, like, we don't know like, what they have on him, and... Well, they don't have any. Hey, hey, Tim, what can they possibly have on him? He's dying. Yeah, it's part of his. You know, I mean, what they're going to ruin his career? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he ruined it a long time ago. Oh, all of a sudden, you hate McCain. I, I, I think there's a possibility it's going to pass. That's what I'm. We, just I do, like we said, Trump was going to win. I think this is going to pass. I really do. I, I believe. I think it will. And it's going to be, be the biggest disaster. Because yep. now it's they've messed that. up the insurance companies' actuaries because there's so much instability and, uh, and indifferent. There's no in, in, no decision making. They've totally messed it up. They're going to so, own it too. The Republicans are going to well, own this mess. All they need to do is any any district that doesn't have a, a private health insurance on the Obamacare plan, mm-hmm. let everybody in that district have Medicare. You'll see these insurance plans jump right in there because they're making money hand over fist. They administer Medicaid in most states. They make good profits administering Medicaid. They administer Medicare. Medicare is not administered by the government. It's administered by a different insurance company in every state. They're making tons of profits. How come most of the doctors don't want to take Medicaid? They do. Most... I, I don't know what state you live in, but I know in Michigan, Ohio, most of the, most of the doctors do because it's handled by an insurance company now. We have three or four private insurance companies here that handle Medicaid. It doesn't go through government employees. And so same thing. And Medicare has been that way for years. It's great. They just don't make enough money on Obamacare. And they have their profits limited. That's what they don't like. And I, I talked to the and Blue Cross representative you here think in Michigan. Do you think will make them any happier? If, if they're I, think they, I, I think they need to fix Obamacare. There's a, a few fixes. They should say, okay, you want, us, you, want the, you want to administer Medicaid in this state, you want to administer Medicare in this state, then you've got to have an Obamacare plan that's decent. And bundle them, and they'll get a, and they'll, and they'll, and, and they still make money. These insurance companies are not losing money on Obamacare. Well, and why are they pulling out on, uh, in, in many they, uh, states? Because they want to make more money. Most of the places of the insurance companies are jumping back in. If you, if you watch some of the news reports, these insurance companies are now say we're well, going to miss out on all that business. So they were just playing a bluffing. So you mean uh, the, le- you, the, 
the left wing news is only reporting the ones that are pulling out and all the ones that are going back in are no, getting No, reports. there's some coming out, but just give the ones, if everybody pulls out, give them, or if they're down to one plan, and put Medicare available to all those people. Let them have a choice. Medicare is already in place. It's just a matter of scaling the, the it The idea of single-payer health care, the most perfect idea would be to expand Medicare to everybody. Absolutely. Yeah. Bring it down to age 50. Wasn't it? I oh, well, listen, I, I've been arguing that we should take Social Security and rather than raising the age, lower the age. Because if you're, if you're 55 or 60, try and find a new job. Wasn't sure. it? Right. You know? it wasn't Wait a minute, Bernie Kevin. Sanders. Kevin's got his hand up. I tried at 68, didn't happen. What, tried to get a job I at 68? Do. I still do, yeah. Oh, well, listen, at my age, at my age, uh, there are no jobs out there for me. Uh, yeah, it, 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 you're lucky if you find something. Without, but I mean, I mean you, can, you can go down and, and greet at Walmart, but you're not going to find anything decent. I see no reason why the government can't start Social Security at 60 or 55. Not How raise about, it now as it is rough. to 66 and it's heading upwards to 68. Well, How about remember, the, the country. Rule of 80. remember the rule of 80. And your buddy Sanders is the one when he was younger that What are you said calling him my buddy for? I was never a big fan of Bernie Sanders. Sanders said Have I ever been a fan of Bernie Sanders on this show? He said that Have I ever been a fan of Bernie Sanders on this show? Yes. Oh, yes? Yeah, before Hillary. I, before I, I felt that of the two people, you're, you're, you're no, of the, of, the, of the two people who were running, I, I said I would have to pick Bernie over Hillary, but you never right. heard me. You never heard me talk in terms of he's my hero I or my buddy or dick. my pal or my idea of a good time. Quite frankly, I agree with, uh, what's her name? It was on uh, Bill Maher this week who is a very much a lefty, Fran Lebowitz, who said that basically Bernie Sanders is an egotistical old man. Basically. But you in know, his he, younger days, he said that single payer would bankrupt this country. Well, I don't uh, care what he said ever. I don't consider him the authority on everything. What I do consider the authority is every other civilized, industrialized nation in the world that does have a single payer plan. Yeah, and it and is it, working. And it wasn't and it, for Germany uh, it, no, uh, it, it, all, uh, oh, taking the wall, taking the broke. What, wait, wait. Hmm? Say, say something, Jeff. Go ahead. They don't go broke in, in Austria. They don't go broke in Germany. They don't go broke in England. They don't go broke in France. They don't go broke in in uh, yeah. Argentina. And, and you know, but you know, you know what the main, you service. know what the main cause of personal bankruptcy is in this country. Yes. What? Uh, buying too much shit on credit. No, 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 no. It's 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 well, it's med it's it's medical costs. Medical bills. Medical bills. Yeah. Now, uh, you know, but is that's unheard of. You know, I I had I had my friend Jim who who was from Canada, and uh, it's the first time I've spoken his name in a while. And I said to him once, I said, "How do you uh, you know do you, do you worry about your health?" And so he said, "We never even think about it." You get sick, you go to the hospital. It doesn't cost anything. You get taken <clears throat> care of, you go home. You know, and this is a guy who's been over the years quite sick and has had to rely on this, those doctors, and they've done a good job on him. What? An extremely wealthy country with a... No, a this is not an extremely wealthy country. What country do you live in? Canada is an extremely wealthy country. Oh, they're an extremely wealthy country. Okay. And and they're, and they're doing they're doing very well, and their population uh, is nowhere near what the population is here, and the amount of people contributing and working in Canada uh, per capita is that's is no higher. excuse. You could argue that we have more people here, so there's more money available for single no, payer health care. Less money available because we're not working. We got a lot of people on the dole. Well, that's Are you it. crazy? We're at like the lowest <laughs> unemployment rate you that we've ever been. Illegal aliens. And they're not paying taxes. Ugh. They're working in a cash economy. I don't believe, Phil. I can't believe. I, you know. Hey, they're standing out in front of Seven Eleven. I, I don't want to. I don't want to think you're stupid. Yeah. 
I really don't want to think you're stupid. <laughs> but, you know, every day when I, when I say, you know, Phil is actually pretty smart. Oh, hey, I have to put in my passcode. Oh, it, uh, they have a different uh, keyboard for the passcode now. Yeah, it's changed. The, 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 the font is a little different. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Why did they put a dash in there? You know. Uh, I guess you're not smart. <laughs> well, let me let me see what happens here. Man, give me fifth pill today. <laughs> emergency calls only. What is this? I don't want an emergency call. What? What? what you got to set it up again. You have to. What, was it nine one one or something here? Yeah. Call, the call them up. Tell emergency, them, hey, emergency, I just want to see my iPhone. Calling. What is this? What is this with emergency calls? Uh, you this. probably have to go through the setup procedure of the phone. You know, it's English, it's this, it's that. It's wrong. It was it was emergency call. <laughs> I don't want an emergency call. <laughs> Cancel. Look, Cancel. If you talk about people in Queens. Software update. Uh, Press home uh, to finish setting up. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Pasco. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Okay. Update completed. Now, Apple ID. Oh, boy. I hate to do Why, why do they keep asking for the ID? Huh? That's, that's to protect you in case somebody uh, decides that they want to try to get into your phone. If, if they didn't know your Apple ID, then the, only, the best way would be just to reinstall an operating system and they'd be in, right? You need oh, your oh. Apple ID. Mm -hmm. Security. Uh, uh, it's a pain in the ass, but I mean that's life today. Uh, so, uh, Brian's I just put I just put a I just put a security block on my credit report, so nobody can pull my credit report anymore. Now that's going to be a pain in the ass for me. I can guarantee it. Yes. Yeah. When uh, when I uh, got fished I, a couple of years ago, uh, the, I, I answered an email that I thought was from eBay, oh, and, uh, and it was a phishing email, and I and I fucked up. And Once in a while that happens, you get like the perfect storm the perfect where you're storm. you're expecting an email right. or some right, and that's when you I, fall for it. I know. Did you click on the link, Phil? They never send the I link. Clicked on the link. And oh, and you did the fucking link. You should know not to click on I, the link. I realized it about a couple of keystrokes into it, and didn't put my social security number, but they got my uh, my email address, and now my email address comes up on the dark web. And uh, oh, so shit. Can you imagine where he's got a monitoring service, and the monitoring service put the thing on hold, and then uh, uh, now it's no longer on hold, but the monitoring service. Uh, oh, good. I go out and buy my new car then, huh? Yeah, they, they keep letting me know that it's that my shit's coming up on the dark web, and it's yeah, my podcast address. Yeah. Hey, does anybody know it, who it right here is on your gambling sites and shit? <laughs> Probably don't want to use some gambling stuff. They're using your name. So some of the uh, some of the icons look different now. Yes, the, the there's a new uh, app um, app store icon. Yeah, and they also the contacts look different. Yes, yes. And the font's a little different too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, what does it do? <laughs> oh, I boy. don't. Want what all all what it does, but I usually upgrade because I I Where get is it. The the app. Is it in the app store? No, you go to uh, settings, general software. Right. Oh, you know what? You can mark. Oh, well, mark is red now. Mark is red. Now edit. Well, you still have to go through each each damn piece of mail. Ah, you didn't or, check it, that. Huh? <laughs> I knew you were going to check that. Yeah, no, I mean, I hate that. I just hate it. Because, I mean, after all these years, shouldn't they have a thing that I can do and, and, and you just, know, yeah. you know? There must be a reason why There must be a reason why they can't do that, because it's, it's one of the most requested things. Well, I've gone online and read ways to do it, and everybody's got a different way, and, I never, and I've never been able to come up with a, with a thing. By the way, that credit karma you told us about the other day, you want to know the yeah. problem with credit karma? I keep getting fucking junk mail from them like yeah. crazy. Well, turn it They're off. Not a free, there's a government free credit report website that's totally free. Well, this is to, oh, it's totally I really free. Get a lot of, I don't get a lot of crap from Turn off from the them. notifications for uh, credit karma. 
That's all. Maybe I got it in the beginning and I just uh, I unsubscribe to all of that. As soon as I get them, I yeah. go and unsubscribe. So yeah, yeah. I don't get it. I don't get anything. I don't get- I don't get a lot of stuff from Credit Karma, and I just check it when they tell me that there's been a change. Right. So anyway, I had a, a, a thrill tonight. I'm, I'm going to admit something to you uh, that uh, uh, I, I hate to admit, but uh, uh, the, the show that we've been watching all summer on television is America's Got Talent. Ooh. Uh, wow. Uh, we love that show. We love that show. We watch it every week. We watch the British version, too. Uh, which wow. is is much faster and takes less weeks, but you know here in America it goes on forever. I just watched the clips they put on YouTube tonight. Uh, YouTube, tonight on, they they uh, named they named the winner of the million dollars and the the winner of America's Got Talent, and it was a woman who I voted for. It was my really favorite, my favorite, that. and it was a tw- eleven or twelve year old ventriloquist. Oh, she was great. She was terrific. Oh. Yeah. Just terrific. She 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 can't be really twelve years old. I think she's uh, she's eighty years old. And the, 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 well, these puppet, a robot. these puppets oh. sing, and she's got a great voice singing with, as right. these puppets. Oh, she's fabulous. fabulous, amazing, just amazing. What and about she the, could, the, the she could deaf win on girl? The voice, probably. Yeah, what? what about the deaf girl who sings? Uh, yeah. Well, I, I I don't believe that. I don't my, believe it either. How could that plumber, be? My plumber, who he's about three hundred pounds. He was on The Voice. He was the, the plumber that sings. And uh, he, he was unbelievable. He was fixing something in the store on Saturday, and I had customers come in, and he sung, uh, who's the Hawaiian guy that was 600 pounds? Uh, he sung Don two Ho? Songs. Yeah, no, no, 600 pounds. Hey, uh, yeah, I, know, I know the guy you're talking about. He's yeah, dead, uh, He's uh, dead now. Is, he is. Di- you know what he died of? Yeah, 600 wait, uh, pounds. Yeah. yeah, and then he sung the national anthem, and he he hit that note like it was unbelievable. And you know, my customers are standing there, and here's my plumber. You know, uh, this story's of, making paint dry. It, oh yeah, he was he was or pale actually. Yeah, and and he was on the Voice. Yeah, well, we're not talking about the Voice. We're talking about America's Got Talent. Anyway, so this girl won tonight, and I was so thrilled. In fact, I was so much wanting to find out because it's at the end of the show and my show's beginning when the show was ending so i paused it and then while penn's interview was playing i ran in and watched who won uh, so, so you just blew it for me do, do you think uh, do you think uh, simon cowell's taking too many valium he seems pretty subdued no but he's always been look i've always liked simon cowell he's no, he, I, li- no I like him but he's he's really really uh, been i, I think more uh, personable. He has a family now, and I think he's probably a pretty personable guy. He just took the persona that he took on American Idol. I always liked him on American Idol because he was honest. Well, no, no, I, no, I never disliked him. Yeah. But you need that sharp criticism. But uh, uh, yeah, I think they all did a pretty good job. This yeah, year. yeah. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Brian. Well, turn on your mic. Yeah, we can't hear you. No, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. Right now, you're Marcel Marceau to us. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're, I got to tell you something. But tell her. What, uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can yeah. hear you now. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. I fucked with my adjustment settings for some reason when I started this again. Mm-hmm. They took a good thing and they fucked it up like they usually do. Yeah. Anyway. So what were you going to say? No, I just wanted to, to do a brief test. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take it more of your time. I just got in. I... Oh, okay. I, I, I just wanted to make sure that my hardware was working. Oh, okay. Yeah. I do that every now and then, too, and it isn't. So, anyway, uh, Tony, at least that's what, what she says. Yes, so. yes, Tony. I think HBO might have heard. Uh, remember you said, I watched a new show. I just watched it on uh, HBO, The Deuce. It's about New York in 1971. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Did I, you like I thought you might like it. I just watched the first Yeah, time. I liked it. I mean, you know, I lived it. I was going to say, because the way they captured it, you know, how you were describing it, it's pretty much really, uh, it's a real gritty thing, but they really, show, it's, the first show was really good, I thought. It was well done. Yeah. Is that a rip off on Dice? No. no the deuce. It's the deuce. It's about, it's all about prostitution and porn in New York City in the 1970s. Um, in, in 1973 is when it starts, and when I did, started Midnight Blue, it was 1974. So it's, I'm, I, I, I know... That life and what was happening with that life at that time, you know. 
22 seconds remaining. What for what? Up? My update. Uh, oh, my update updated. As soon as you said it, he's got to update. Yeah. Well, I, I, and and, and I just go over to the watch thing, and it'll update that. And I got to take, yeah, wa- take the watch off and hook it up to the power. Right. Well, you have because, the watch. The watch looks nice. Huh? The watch looks nice. I was in the Apple. That's kind of nice. You can just, you know, just say the name, I think, and dial out. Well, oh, wow. if I if I start wearing the watch, uh, I've got to get one of those things that you put your self-winding watch on that keeps it wound. It just kind of vibrates a little bit. Why? Did you take your heart rate with the watch and the Apple watch? Well, no, because if you have a good watch and you don't keep it wound... Uh, it'll it'll get it'll get screwed up. Some days it uses up a lot of power, and other days it doesn't. And I can never figure out why. Today it, it used a lot of power, uh, you know. But uh, anyway, uh, let me see here. So I go o- over here. This is interesting radio, isn't it, folks? Or mm-hmm. internet stuff? Uh, let On, me see online here. online downloading. Yeah, but where 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 do you where do you go to um, upgrade? <coughs> Uh, in the Apple, in the watch app, yeah, uh, there's an area, I think it's under, uh, let me get there. Uh, <clears throat> Notifications app, layout, general, oh, it probably General, under, under general. Under general, software update. Okay, let me see here. Checking for update. Where, where's Dick Tracy when you need him? Oh, I'm a lot of Tracy it. That's right. You can actually see the first side. Well, you know, we do. We are at the point where we do have the, uh, you know, the Dick Tracy. Uh, first, it was the wrist radio. Remember that? Oh, I, and then, that was, as as Dick Tracy got more technically proficient, it was the wrist TV. It was this actually wrist transponder. You know, it was that little flip phone thing that uh, that they had in not Star Wars in Star Trek. Uh, and then, uh, and I had one of those. It was called a Nextel. And uh, yep. you flipped right, it. You just yelled it. We're going to be in the same frequency. Yeah. StarTac. Star, StarTac. StarTac. It was like a StarTac phone. phone. It was black and it was a flip phone. Yeah, it was, it was an N1000 or something. It was it was a great phone. Well, yeah, but, what, but no, but I'll, ta- I'll tell you, it, if you think about it, uh, yeah. art, it, life imitates art uh, in that we didn't have, you know, mobile phones until a certain point. And when we finally did, they built them to look like communicators on Star Trek. Right. Because they flipped out. The portable ones. Yeah. They were... They, what's the, what's the, is it the tricorder that the, the tricorder that the doctor used? Yeah. We don't have one they're, of those. They're on the verge in a couple of years of having one of those. Oh, really? They're real close. Yeah. They also came out with a, 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 nan, a nano-sized robot that's the size of a strand of DNA... They can deliver met, uh, medicine or treatment to very sp- to specific cells in your body. Right. Yeah. They're going to inject those does. in you at some point. So now we're now we now you're talking about fantastic fantastic voyage almost. If you use an avatar. Uh, Brian delivers that stuff every day. Did you see? We were talking about jobs and hard to find jobs. Uh, yeah. The hamburger flipping robot is getting its first job. I posted the link on. Facebook, he, and you know what? He already wants a raise. Yeah, he wants a raise. He wants he wants to go from one fifteen to two twenty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I just noticed. I was shocked. I was shocked. <laughs> I just noticed that the video stopped playing for a while here, so we're down to only a few people watching it. I don't know what happened, but if it's not playing, how come they're still watching? Well, no, they're not watching like they were. We had uh, we were up in the teens somewhere, and now we're down to like about four people are watching it. But that yeah, was your uh, viewership when you had uh, Pendulette on. Uh, it, was, it was it was it was it was in and out when I was watching it before I called in. Really? It would stop and start. Yeah, I thought it was my. I have charter, so it's usually my cable company. But well, I mean, it could be it could be something like that here. I have no hey, idea. Facebook. We don't know what he's doing. He's going to have to testify pretty soon. So maybe he's <laughs> deleting a lot of files. <laughs> Who's yeah. that? Zuckerberg. Um, oh. So what's going on? They're definitely going to have you testify. About what? What's that? About uh, selling Russian. stuff to the Russians and telling everybody that they didn't. Because there's, there's 440, 440 ads that they let people buy that were Russian 
from the Russian government. Yeah, but well, he what, what he was what he was doing was he wasn't, you know, when you're selling advertising, you have to be very democratic about it. You can't suddenly say I'm not going to sell to so and so, but I'll sell to so and so. I mean, unless you're it's something that's breaking the law, then you but, but, but then Russians, you then you sell it. If it's, you, on, if it's, if it's on TV, it's 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 regulated. Uh, the you Russian, can't sell no, but but but, but, but we're, we're not talking about TV. We're not talking about TV. We're talking about a website. I know. I, well, I know that, but they're going to have to come monitor Facebook because <laughs> now you have the Russians running campaign ads. And that is illegal. Especially no, if Americans. They, they, they have a right to sell ad space to anybody. And those uh, people, and, 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 and un, unless it is something, unless it is, unless, if I'm a slave owner, Tim, unless it's, some, slave, unless it's something illegal. Well, that is illegal. How is, what, how is it? How is it illegal? How, it, how is it illegal for a foreign? You can't have foreign money in campaign Tim, ads. listen to me. How is Wait, it? How is it? Uh, Ill, how is it illegal for somebody, even from another country, to take out ads on Facebook, say for Trump or for Hillary or for well, anybody? Trump has supported uh, Macron. He went over to France and he campaigned and 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 supported Macron over the uh, right wing uh, uh, opponent. You know, if that's not interference, what is? Well, that, that is. That, I didn't agree with that either. But media using media. And having foreign money, soft, you can't even use soft money from foreigners. That's what several of the ex experts have said. And well, if you have Americans helping the foreigners, especially an adversary like Russia, they, they, if they gave them demographics so they could target And how are you so sure that he knew he was selling to the Russians? Because they paid in rubles. No. Yes, yeah. yeah. they okay. paid in rubles. And the companies were known as Russian... Uh, part part of the Russian government. Well, all and, I'm saying is, look, he hey, 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 if the Russians want to buy time on this show uh, <laughs> to advertise against Hillary, I would sell them the time. Okay, but I think you may want to talk to an attorney. Well, some, some <laughs> no, I don't want to talk to an attorney. I have a right to sell time on my show to anybody I want to sell it to, as long as the product, know, as long as, uh, you listen to me, Tim, right? as long as the product they're selling is not an illegal product. It came out well, on Facebook. It, that the well, Russians, individual Russians, opened up uh, Facebook accounts and were planting information, making it sound. Well, well, then how does he? How does he know they were Russians starting up accounts? Yeah, Anybody true. can start up I, accounts. I have five uh, Facebook accounts. Yeah, you're right. He can share anything. Yeah. You know, well, anybody. Yeah, Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg knows everything. The, oh, the yeah. people at Facebook know everything about everybody. I do. Not about me. Not about well, me. You can make a banana this account. I, I, know, know, the, as much as I know a lot about Facebook, and that is that Facebook Live sucks. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. They, they've already subpoenas. Mueller already has Facebook's records. They're going through them. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah, I think that's where they may have come up with this. Uh, these accounts, uh, found out about these Russian accounts that had opened up Facebook accounts and made it sound as if they were Trump campaign. Uh, Could be a setup too. Well, they were they were they were spread mostly uh, fake stories about Hillary. Yeah, and that, they were that's... selling the people using the demographics. Some people think that the data was provided by Jared Kushner's, who was in charge of the data operations for the Trump campaign. Because remember they had the you know, you know the something, Tim, uh, uh, Tim, the, Tim, the Tim, computer in Trump Tower for sometimes for several uh, Tim, Tim, quit watching MSNBC and oh, and reading all them. these reading all these blogs with all these conspiracy theories and Why ground yourself in some newspaper. reality. Ground yourself in some reality. Uh, just get used to, to the KPS fact, KPS Tim. Org. Just get to, used to the fact, Tim. There's no way you're going to be able to impeach Donald Trump. Okay. Just go JBS.org, Tim. And oh, he's going to do the John Birch, Alex. He swear. That's actually a real thing. I know, I really you know, the John Birch though. Society is like 50s, all right? He, that's yeah, where no, his politics go, back to the stuff. fucking 50s. It was amazing. I was actually captivated. The John Birch Society, you know, you talk about you want Israel to be safe and so on and so forth. John Birch Society is one of the most anti-Semitic organizations in America. That's news, old news. Oh, with the oh it's old tracks. news. Yeah. Yeah. I think would you would you want to take a chance on any organization that even at one time was thought to be anti-Semitic? 
hey, hey uh, then that means you don't talk to Germans because at one time they were Nazis. You know, not I mean, all of them were changed. not all of them were Nazis. And that was only 15 years before uh, the John Birch Society came around. Yeah, well, the Nazis had to have somewhere to go. Yeah, the same with Birchers. <laughs> what well, wasn't the first America America First campaign with uh, wasn't that anti-Semitic to a certain extent too? I don't know that. Uh, wasn't uh, it Lindbergh, right? Lindbergh was buying that. Charles, he was out of the war. Well, they, they were kind of a white. They weren't white supremacists, but uh, they were pretty. Uh, well, you know, things changed. Shady. You had those people in the South. They were all KKK Democrats. Now they were. Oh, speaking of KKK, Sessions is going to testify again. Yeah. Real soon. That'll be interesting. Phil, you think Trump will get a Christmas tree in the White House? By the way, how long did it take you to for your watch to? Uh... Yeah. Long time. That took about ninety minutes. Really? Oh, because it, oh, you oh, 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 about forty-eight minutes remaining. That's what a GI. Love you long time. <laughs> yeah. I should order Chinese. It says about 48 minutes remaining. It just my my phone's screen went off and I couldn't tell. Yeah, my phone is now downloading the Apple thing and it's taking an inordinate amount of time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It downloaded the program quickly, but the conversion is uh I need uh, that's well. installing. Oh. Meanwhile, they solved the North Korea thing. That what North Korea thing? Well, uh, tr Trump's going to have, on the 4th of July, a military parade. And Kim Jong-un, on his uh, Independence Day, is going to have a parade. And whoever has the best parade wins. You notice all of Kim Jong-un's uh, uh, military people are like 80 years old? Uh, yeah. That you know, they're, they're, they're standing there, they're covered in medals. And, and all the missiles are empty? They're what missing, made out of missiles, you see? Yeah, no, but you, you, you look at their, their people that they have standing behind them. They're all 80, 85 years old. They're, Hilarious. Yeah, I, I, you know, there's not one young guy in the whole batch. Because he's killed them all. Yeah. Waiting in line. The old guy. I heard one young guy was. was fast. One young I guy one is guy actually was... the head general of the army. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Was that what you were going to say, Rob? That's what I was going to say. Yeah, I'm sorry. I well, stole the joke left. from you. He uh, played risk in world competition several times. I thought you were going to go the cream of some young guy angle. No, the cream of some young guy. <laughs> yeah. Wayne's but, world. Gee, we're down to just four people watching the show. They must have no, given up or something. Well, you got a uh, Alex. You got a black. It's a black screen, and the and the the counter's going like it's on, but there's a black screen. What do you mean? It's a black screen. I see a picture. That the no, black. I don't screen. see. Yeah. You I don't? don't see one. I'm in. Really? See if it was yeah. Windows, it would be the blue then screen. You push the live that. button, and it shows the counter still going like it's on. But uh, Microsoft Xbox and the right. Uh, maybe I'm, no, it's still there. No, I saw, I have the, all the video coming through here. Yeah, I'm at one fifty one oh one, and it's black. Really? Did you have, have you tried? I'm trying to get it going again. Have you tried? Oh, that you're using that. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's running. It's running again. Yeah, it's you you you've got a picture, right, Tim? Uh, just now, but it yeah. mine keeps freezing. Yeah, I have to push the play button. Yeah, like maybe it. it's my connection. I'm sure. Yeah, somebody's messing with the the FaceTime continuum. Maybe I should just I stop. Maybe I should stop the with school. the FaceTime. I mean Facebook. Yeah. Try it. Huh? Go 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 back to your live stream and your uh, and the other ones you get for free. Uh, <coughs> yeah, well, for fifty bucks a month. No, I don't pay fifty bucks. A month. Just post the replay on uh, for, on for that uh, live stream thing. You pay fifty bucks, and then you are able to broadcast on two or three other items. No, what I can do is record this every night, and then just put the playback on on the right. Facebook page, yep. and not have to worry about whether you know whether this thing is working or not. Or like last night, just this cluster fuck that took place. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, uh, Jeff, what do you think? I'm, I, I, I have to. I always have to pry stuff out of you because you, you, you don't jump in and argue. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Well, some some of these arguments are just. Huh? We know where everybody stands on these things, and they're, they're about the same thing. Yeah, Phil's never going to change, is he? No, well, he's not single. Old. As soon as I'm as soon as I'm 65, I'm going single payer. 
That's right. Yeah. 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 Well, Except then you eighty percent single payer. No, no, no. Uh, it's uh, when you go through uh, Kaiser. Uh, you just uh, you're covered anyway. You pay some sort of stipend to Kaiser, and they uh, take uh, care. and they take care of the supplemental. Right. That's so right. probably a couple hundred bucks a month. I, I think it's ninety nine dollars. Really? A year. That's good. I, I mean a month. That's good. It's a bargain. That's good. Yeah, it is a bargain. And, and well, then you, what we're trying you to do? Just go to the hospital, and, or you just go, go to the Kaiser. Hospital. You, you and, go into the. It's the same there. Thing I've had. It's That's a, my father-in-law does too. It's like a co-op, except yeah. it's private. Yeah, what do you know? My my camera just froze on me too. Oh, this is a wonderful night tonight. I really am so happy about it. This yeah. is right, fucked up uh, bullshit. Yeah. That seems to be occurring. This is wonderful. Let me let me see. Here. I mean, I think that uh, what we ought to have is the same program that that all the senators have. Of course, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Why why are they special? Yeah, and and whatever they want to, what they want to do, I think they they ought to experiment with that for the next five years. Yeah, yeah. Why don't we also give everybody a trophy for participating, and and uh, you know? No, 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 no. Why is it that the people who make the rules don't have to follow the rules? That's all. Golden rule. That argument also applies to cops too. He who has the gold makes the rules. And you're all for that. It's okay to let them have all this wonderful health care, and yet they want to dole out all the shit to you and me. Hey, Phil, I see that quote you just made, and I raise you, uh, he who stirs the pot should should be forced to lick the spoon. Well, uh, you know, life is a shit sandwich, and every day is another bite. Yeah, I'm getting tired of this. I kind of like it. Where does he go? Wonderful sayings. Uh, the whole life is right. all of life is based on sayings, right? Right. On similes. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, <laughs> oh, what was that? Well, if you want the socialist look on that, life is a bowl of piss, which we were all forced to drink from. Oh, stop! <laughs> <laughs> you know. That's a very socialist. Way. Oh God, we only got we only got four minutes left of this show. Make it go by fast, please, dear God. <laughs> four minutes. Oh boy. So anyway, Alex, we can't we can't start any discussion. Wait a minute. What, wait a minute. Will, you, what, will you let? Uh, please let uh, Jeff talk. Yes. What we can't start the uh, t- tomorrow. We're starting about measuring how fast our computers are. It, it, yeah, it's not the most fun thing to do. Right, right. Well, you know, I mean, I'm, you know. Kind of calm Although that may be a factor why so many problems are occurring, especially tonight. I mean, different speeds, different builds, system-wise. Well, what you have is we live in a very modern age of computers that I dreamed about, but I didn't realize it was going to become a fucking horror show. That's right. You know, I figured it was going to be it was going to be wonderful. I'd have my household robot, right? I thought you'd have your flying car too. You had my flying one. car, yes, Jeff. The monster that we created now devours us. I made. I, I love the technology, though. Really, I never thought we'd be able to do something like this, like on Skype. Like when I was yeah, kid. well, I got news for you. We still can't really. <laughs> I mean, it is so it's imperfect. So it is so imperfect. It's better no, than it's ever been, but it's still imperfect. And when it comes to face uh, Facebook Live, you know, I, you can blow me. You know, I mean. What are you going to use, uh, Periscope? Listen, you know. do you know what's much more reliable, oddly enough, is YouTube. Uh, yeah. But mm-hmm. I don't use YouTube because I don't get the listeners there. I get the listeners on Facebook. I get a lot of them. I get a couple of hundred every night. I wonder so. if you can redirect Facebook to the YouTube. No, I can I can direct YouTube to Facebook. Uh. But that takes a whole, bu- a whole bunch of clicking and stuff in a short amount of time, and I don't feel like doing it. But no, I found, I've found i used YouTube, and YouTube is just seamless. No problem at all. Oh, wait a minute. I just looked. we got, us got to start playing the damn theme song. As yeah, my, where, where's my phone right now? What uh, what what point is it oh. at here? Let me see here. Mine, mine is uh, mine is uh, ready. 
Well, mine, uh, I do not see a difference. Mine is the there watch. Is. Got to play with it a little, Phil. What's new in calendar? Yeah. Software update. It's still going. And it's uh, 42 minutes remaining. That's what it said before. Yeah. Uh, it's oh, slow. It's slow. It. It's, the watch the is very app. slow. Very slow. Yeah. Anyway, hey, listen. I want to say good night to all of you. I want to say Mike hasn't said a word tonight. Oh. Not a word, Mike. Why? Just go listen, that's all. Oh, okay. Well, you know. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it. Tony, thank you. Rob, thank you. Phil Meyer, thank you. Tim, thank you a lot. I always appreciate your intelligence. Uh, Brian, thank you. Also, thanks to Penn Gillette for having joined us this evening. Uh, Great say, interview. Yeah, yeah it was. Uh, say, uh, say a nice good night, everybody, and uh, wave goodbye. Wave bye bye. There we bye. go. Okay, that's the gang, folks. And uh, that's about it for tonight. Yeah, I got my camera working and everything without any real problem. That's amazing. Anyway, listen, next is Jack and Amy with the uh, intersection. And right after that is uh, Connections. Over most of the same gab net, I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. Again, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? <laughs> <laughs>